guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jessica, the Furry Family Coach. Thank you so much for being here with me today. In this video, I'm gonna go over some of the reasons your dog may be ignoring you. I know so many people, when I come into their homes to help them train their dogs, say they just ignore me and I don't, it's so frustrating, I get mad, I yell, or they, they just don't listen to me. So I have to ask, I have to tell them over and over and over again what I want them to be doing. And some people are just like, they ignore me, so I've just given up, right? <laughs> I hear that one quite a bit. And I know that it's really frustrating, so I wanted to discuss some of the things that you could be doing wrong that is causing your dog to ignore you and what you can do to change that, right? Because that's the most important part. Realizing what it is that we may be doing that is causing our dog to ignore us and then changing that so that our dog listens, right? They're no longer ignoring us. That is gonna be the important part of this video. So let's go over some of the reasons that your dog could be ignoring you. One reason that your dog could be ignoring you is because you're being super repetitive and then there's no follow-up. So if you're calling your dog over and over, maybe your dog's name is Sparky. Let's just go with Sparky. Sparky, 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 come here, come here, Sparky. And you just keep doing that over and over and over again. Your body language isn't changing, your tone of voice, maybe the only change is that it's getting more angry or frustrated. You are not changing physically what you're doing. You're not intervening in whatever is going on. You're not changing um, environmental restrictions for your dog. You're not changing uh, or, or limiting where they can access, right? So managing our dog's environment is gonna be really important. So that follow-up in what you're doing it's not gonna work, right? There's a very famous quote that doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result is the definition of insanity. So let's be very much aware of what we're doing. If you are doing the same thing over and over and over again, if you're calling and yelling over and over and over again and you're expecting a different result from your dog, it's not gonna happen. The second reason your dog could be ignoring you is that you are using punishment. I understand that for many, many, many years, people used punishment when training dogs. People used punishment, people continue to use punishment. Fortunately, the field of dog training is changing because we know there is science behind the fact that punishment does not work. And if you are continuing to punish your dog, then they don't really have any strong reasoning to listen to you right? Because if all that happens is that they get punished, if, for example, you call your dog and you call your dog and you call your dog and finally on that fourth or fifth time you call your dog, they actually come to you. Guess what? You should be rewarding that because they actually came to you. But if instead you say, I had to call you five times and you punish, then they're going to correlate coming to you with punishment. So using punishment is a huge reason why your dog is not gonna to listen to you. Another reason that your dog may not be listening to you is because you're not as interesting in whatever it else is going on. Whatever it is that your dog is doing and that they're not listening to you, you're just not that interesting. We gotta change that. You need to become more valuable and more interesting to your dog. Another reason that your dog may not be listening to you is because you seem mad. Your body language, your tone of voice is all letting your dog know that you're mad. That maybe when they get over to wherever you are, they do whatever you're asking them to do, they're not going to be well received, right? Again, this goes back to that punishment. If you have a demeanor about you that you are angry, that you're mad, that you know your body language is just saying, I'm so upset. Why does your dog wanna to come to that? Another reason that your dog may not be listening to you is that you have really bad timing. One of the really key things to learn with your dog specifically, because every dog is gonna be different, is when to ask for something. Because if your dog is incredibly preoccupied, if their emotion is really high, maybe really low, if they are chasing a squirrel, if they are at the gate barking, you have to realize that whatever level your dog is at, they are not gonna be able to realistically respond to you. You need to wait until your dog 
reaches a level where you could actually intervene and you could actually break through and they might actually be able to hear you. So getting your timing right is going to be really key. Again, following up with a reward is going to reinforce that behavior and it's going to allow us in the future to be able to interrupt when they are more heightened. We gotta start down here and work our way up. So getting your timing right is going to be key. And of course, the final reason in this video that your dog may not be listening to you is because you haven't properly trained them to do so. What all of this means, everything in this video, is that we actually need to shape the behaviors using positive reinforcement in our dog that we want to see from our dog. So we're not gonna yell, we're not gonna scream, we're certainly not gonna punish. If our dog doesn't come on the first try, understandable. They do come on the third or fourth try, wonderful. Let's reward that, right? So we are shaping behaviors using rewards. Again, getting that timing right, we have to look for a break when your dog is super high strung and running around the yard with the squirrel and maybe you watch, you pay attention, you see your dog pause in their gait for a moment. They're, they're assessing where did the squirrel go? Maybe they're catching their breath. This is going to be your timing to interrupt, right? We're looking for that pattern interrupt. Okay, they're running, 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 interrupt. They stop for a moment, we interrupt. We call, we reward them for coming to us. We increase our value. We then in turn, like I said, become more valuable, but we also become more interesting. Let's become what your dog loves. If your dog loves running around the yard chasing squirrels, then maybe you need to be getting you a flirt pole and running around the yard with the flirt pole so your dog can chase that. That way you become the one who is providing this really high value of entertainment and exercise for your dog. So there are so many different things that we can do in training. I really want to encourage you to look more into positive reinforcement training. I, I have a book that you can purchase and download. It's like $5, really worth it. It's going to provide the seven canine commandments, which are my foundation, the, the foundation of everything I teach my in-home clients, which are going to go over positivity and value and reward. I believe there's a link in the description below. I also have an online training course that takes you through how to positively train your dog. There is also a link for that in the description below. Thank you so much for being here again. If you've made it all the way through, please give this video a big thumbs up. It is the best feedback that I can get from you. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them in the comments below. I really want to hear from you and respond to you. So uh, really quickly, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Join Pet Parent Nation by hitting that subscribe button. Once you do, a bell will pop up. Click the bell, select all notifications. That way, YouTube can notify you every time I post a new video. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Thank you again for being here, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.